G'day and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be travelling to the beautiful Mount Buffalo here in Victoria in search of some landscape photos. It's midwinter so there will be some snow which will hopefully translate into at least one or two nice images. To help get you acquainted with the mountain and the photographic opportunities here's a quick look back at my work from previous years. Buffalo does not get the amount of snow that you would find on taller neighbours such as Hotham, Falls Creek or Buller. However, Buffalo has one distinct advantage. There are no entry fees and even winter camping is possible without costing a penny. Join us as we drive up in the dark, aiming to arrive at the impressive Gorge Car Park just ahead of dawn. If you are approaching in the dark, remember that chains are required even if there is no snow on the road and black ice is quite common. Please be careful. So we have uh, woken up to a beautiful cloud inversion. Look at that. Right over the gorge. atmosphere. <laughs> now we still have a little bit of snow on the uh, on the rocks over there. I'll just zoom in real quick. Just there you can see patches of snow. The sun is out. Look at that glorious golden light. Just running along the top of the cloud, lighting up the foreground, all the rocks. Now, quick tip, if you have to shoot straight into the sun like this, shoot one frame like that and then shoot another frame where you cover the sun. See how it's getting rid of the flare there? You see one frame like that, and then one frame like that, and then you can get rid of your flare in Photoshop. Even the hang glider ramp looks good in the golden light of dawn. Crazy, people jump off that thing. If you've never been to Mount Buffalo before, the main lookout is up here, and then you've got a secondary lookout here, and you've got Crystal Brook Falls is in the valley, the gully just in here, and it has a nice view out this way to the, the gorge wall. And then we've come around to a, a, another lookout slightly lower down. And then if I pan around this way, you've also got the hang glider ramp, and it has a lookout just over here somewhere. And then there's a beautiful walk actually that continues on along here, along the, on the, along the cliff. And a, and a bit of a river and a little cave you can look at down here. Yeah. Being creative whilst constrained by a lookout guardrail can be challenging. But here I've used the time of the year, time of the day, focal length and aspect ratio to create symmetry and balance. So the plan at this point is to walk down to the shore of Lake Katani and uh, see if we can find a good spot for sunset. There is a little jetty there that I've shot from before 
Uh, so we'll go and check that out. Hopefully there's not too many footprints in the snow. We're going to head back to the little jetty and uh, see if we can find a shot there. The light is looking very grey and grim, <laughs> but you never know your luck. All we need is a little bit of colour or a little bit of a gap, and we could have a photo. Sunset, but this is sort of the idea that I have a panorama, including the jetty, and then stopping right about maybe there just where that tree is. brief moment the low cloud let some colour through and the water was completely still casting a perfect reflection. Alright I think that's uh, it for the light it's just become a bit of a dull grey now. Uh, we'll pack it up and walk back to the car and Work out what we want to do for dawn. Uh, possibilities are to go back to the gorge lookout area um, and have another go at that. But we'll see how we feel.
uh, we're at Crystal Brook Falls on Mount Buffalo. It is technically dawn. And uh, there's the gorge down there, but unfortunately we can't see anything but fog at the moment. Alrighty, we do have a little bit of colour. Right at the top of the sky there. Uh, hard to see through the fog. Alright, so I've changed positions and uh, come up to the main lookout and even though it's well past dawn we still have some pretty epic light in the valley below. I'm just uh, trying to capture a big pano, get all that atmosphere right across the main gorge. During this period we also had a trip down to the Great Ocean Road here in Victoria. Uh, had a great time. Uh, didn't have a lot of time for videoing the content though. Mainly focused on the photos and just enjoying the experience. Uh, but we did capture a little bit of a highlight here and there and I'll put those up now along with the images that we got. Hope you enjoy them. Having photographed along the Great Ocean Road probably hundreds of times, it still surprises me that we keep finding things like this beautiful little scene at the Eyre River in the Otways. Lighthouse. We spent the afternoon battling wind and rain, and then just on sunset, our luck changed for the better. Busy seaside town of Lawn proved challenging. 
Too much water meant being unable to approach the falls at all. Too little and it looked dried out. Finally on this trip the conditions were perfect. Alright, uh, that is it for another video. If anyone is interested in prints, I'll put the website address down below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure.